Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for No Stylus, and today we're going to have a look at iMovie for iPad and see what we can do with it. In the first video we had a look at the application in general, and today let's have a look and see what we can do with audio. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, maybe we don't want to look at the audio waves, so click on that button there and we can get rid of them. Maybe we do want to look at them, so let's put it back on again. So there you go. You can have the audio wave there showing or not as you see fit. Obviously, if you've got something here like this one here, there's no audio with it because that's a photograph. But what you could do is you could record a voiceover to go over the top of it. So let's just do that now. And we press on this button over here to get it started. OK, so we're ready to record. And what I have to do to get it started recording is to click on the record button. So this is my son Jack, he's an artist and he draws cartoons and caricatures. Now I can do a review of that if I want to. So this is my son Jack, he's an artist and he draws cartoons and caricatures. So that's probably okay, I can click on accept or if it's not good enough I can just click on retake. So let's do a retake. And this is my son Jack, who's a caricature artist. We'll accept it this time. Click on accept. And now we've got that in the timeline. How about that then? So, so I can take that and I can move it along if I want to as well. So I can have it started a bit earlier. Or I can move it. Let's just grab it and move it over this way a wee bit. It's not very precise in the way that you can move it, to be quite honest. But we'll give it a try. So let's move it over just a wee bit more. I moved it too far that time. So let's just try again. Move it back a wee bit. So that's good enough. It's easy enough to put in some extra sounds. And if you notice that further on down here, I've actually chosen some applause to put in there. So for instance, if I have uh, this one here, and I want to go into the sound effects. We can go for an arpeggio. And let's move the timeline over a wee bit. And we could go for a booing crowd. And now we can play those. Boo, his. Stop talking. You have a funny face. Let's go back to audio again. And we can go to theme music. Now you've got these theme musics which are connected to the different themes. But actually there's no reason why you couldn't use the theme off modern and put it onto this one even if you're using a different theme. So for instance if we've got a themes there and we're using playful at the moment, we'll change it to a different one. Let's go for news. OK, we'll leave the theme music off on this bit here. Let's go to this bit here. I don't think it matters where you have your playhead in the timeline, but let's choose Bright. So we've got the Bright theme music to go with the News theme. So there's no reason why you can't mix and match there. So let's just uh, do a play on that there. The sound of it's not terribly loud, so let's just double tap on that there and change the audio settings. I can delete the clip on there if I want to by pressing the delete clip thing. Don't want to do that for the moment. Let's try pressing play again. Okay, so that's much too loud now, so it's coming across and I can't hear the sound of my voice on there. So let's just double tap on that again, move it over a bit, change, move the volume down a wee bit, and then uh, try it again. So now it's not quite loud enough. So you kind of have to mess around with that there just to get the setting just right. Let's just tap on that there. And you've got the audio clips on this here so that I can change how loud I want it there too. Let's press play again. Hello there, this is Dave Allen from No Stylus Podcast and also from Matt to Big Questions. So the music that goes with this doesn't go far enough down the timeline. So what we can do with this here is we can tell it to loop background music. So once it's uh, completed that music, it'll loop it back around again. So there you go, that's how to do that. And if you want to take this off, then what I've got to do is select it and just drag it off and away there. Let's go back to audio. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can go into some of your music that you have on your iTunes account. So, or playlists. And I've got your playlist in there. Let's go to albums. And on albums, I've got Lad Insane, Classical Album, Diamond Dogs. So, some bit of music that we like there. And just put it in there. 
press play, it should play the music from Diamond Dogs. Not loud enough. Put it right to the top there, press play again. So there you go. So you can use the music that you have in your iTunes account if you've um, set it to synchronize from your Mac over to your iPad and you can use that. Have some fun, make some videos with your iPad. Bye bye now, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for No Stylus. Talk to you again soon.